Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample 37. It's a vacuum bagged chopped carbon panel. And this is just short chunks of carbon tow mixed with epoxy and made into a flat sheet. And a flat sheet is not the ideal thing to make with this material, but I did it anyway. And that's all it is. This is just about 675 grams per square meter equivalent mixed with epoxy and spread out. Started with this tow, this 50k carbon tow, miles of it, and I needed to cut it into short lengths. And the length of the fiber is really dependent on the application. Long fibers are stronger, better mechanical properties, short fibers are more conformable. The idea here is you're benefiting from the conformability and the castability, but you want fibers long enough to do something. And I needed a way to cut them. I couldn't find my rotary cutter, but I could find a spare blade. So I made this sketchy looking operation with the pliers, safety third, and it actually worked, although it was scary. So I started cutting, shooting for about quarter inch, half inch, six to 12 millimeters, and I cut and cut and cut. This is a messy process, and you should wear a mask because it's a mess. And I weighed it, I was trying to get what I thought would be a reasonable amount to make something, and it took a long time to actually cut about 68 grams, which is what I decided was enough. Could have made more, and I decided i eh, just go with that. So, again, a messy process. This is from wiping down the mat. Lots of little fibers everywhere. Started with some 5 to 1 regular old epoxy. This is Total Boat, like West System. And I wasn't really sure how it would work. I've done this before, but usually not in a flat sheet. So, I just started the way I would normally start laying up anything else and was going to see what happened. Wet out the surface. This is on the pretty used Teflon table, so it's going to be a little ugly. And just kind of sprinkled the carbon out onto the table. And didn't really work all that well. I First I thought I was going to get a nice uniform layer. And this would work fine for vacuum infusion, which would be a much better way to do this. Or compression molding, in which case who cares, just mix it up in a bucket and squish it in your tool. And I tried the roller and it didn't work at all. And I tried mushing it around and adding extra resin with a brush. And eventually I just kind of mushed it around with my hands and grabbed chunks of it and tried to mix the resin in as uniformly as possible. And this is a pretty nasty process probably not a good idea and I got a big old ball of it and it seemed super dry you'd handle it and it's, it's pretty much just fiber and I knew the resin was in there but it didn't feel wet the way um, a typical reinforcement ply would feel wet you can tell it's it's ready to go and so I tried as best I could to get it all spread out uniformly I tried the roller again didn't work very well put some more resin on because I was concerned there wasn't enough and eventually I got it to the point where I gave up trying to make it more uniform and figured I would just go with it. So I masked off the perimeter with some plastic which is a good idea because resin got everywhere and then came back with some peel ply and bagged it just like you would any normal wet layup. It felt like I was bagging a piece of carpet. Uh, very thick and squishy, but it, uh, you know, we'll see. Used a unnecessarily small vacuum bag, but it was big enough. Bagged it down. 
and let it gel. Went over the tape, made sure I had enough vacuum. I was using probably about 15 inches of mercury, about half of a full vacuum here. Could have used more, but I got some bleed through the perf, and I came back because it was so lumpy with this roller. Figured I would try and even it out. The next day, I did it all cured, came back, removed all of the material, peeled it up, and had a look. Shiny. You can see I didn't get it uniformly enough. There's some places you can see air through, but I trimmed it up and weighed it. It's about 150 grams or 5.375 ounces per square foot. It actually looked kind of neat. It was sort of random and could tell that the fiber was pointing in every which way, um, not in any systematic kind of way. And on the peel ply side, you can see all those wrinkles. Here's the peel ply. You can see how uneven it is and also see the clear spots through there where there just isn't fiber in some places. And I think if I had laid them out dry and infused it, or certainly used additional plies of material and infused that, or, or wet laid like this, that would have prevented that. It would have made it much more uniform. But that sort of defeats the purpose here. Flat panels aren't really what this is good for. This is something that you use to make really geometrically complicated parts, compression molded parts, things that need variable thickness that would be difficult to lay up. A flat panel is, is a pointless exercise, but it demonstrates the material and it you can see it bend very ununiformly. I didn't even bother measuring the thickness because it's from about zero to one and a half millimeters. But it, you can see it's carbon, it's stiff-ish. It looks kind of cool if you put a clear on it. There's a, a bit of nasty in that surface from the Teflon, but on the whole it came out okay. You know, really you can imagine this for something with a lot of geometry where you really don't have the ability to slip joint around all the complex surface shape and you really just want to jam something in there and treat it almost like casting. Well, that's all. Thanks for checking it out.